click, click, click. Hello everyone, this is Take Kayo from BigHeadTaco.com and today I wanna to talk about this. You've probably already guessed, but uh, I'm not Take. And uh, before I go on, I'm gonna let Take introduce me, so uh, here's the real intro. Click, click, click. Hello everyone, this is Take from BigHeadTaco.com and welcome to Whistler, British Columbia. I'm up here on vacation with Camera Girl and she's using her iPhone 11 to shoot this video. So thank you Camera Girl for taking just a minute out of our vacation time to shoot this. Um, an NDA product arrived at my house. He's referring to the 10 to 24 whenever he says NDA. Whilst I was up here in Whistler, so I got my videographer Chris Janakis, aka Chris Meets Chris, to go pick it up and do the unboxing video for me. And so, don't forget to uh, follow him. So, I'll put all the links down below. Go follow him because he's gonna then use the NDA product out in the wild and see how it works. And even though I'm up on up here on vacation with Camera Girl, I still did drag up the 50 millimeter f. 1.0 to do tests up here as well and so again thank you cam girl for letting me do a little bit of work while i am up here uh, check out my first impressions video as well i'm gonna have a new um article up on fuji love on this 50 f1 which is uh I, I love this lens but check out that video that's going to be starting right after this one and uh when i get back to vancouver uh, I'll test the NDA product myself, all right? So thanks for joining. Again, don't forget to follow Chris and go check out his video, all right? So we'll talk to you soon. Happy shooting. Boom. So let's just jump right into it. Here it is, the Fujinon XF 10 to 24 millimeter F4 R OIS WR. That is, uh, we'll talk about that later. That's one of the key features. But the 10 to 24 Mark II, hold on, hold on. Last interruption, I promise. When I say Mark II, it's really just an updated 10 to 24. It is not a Mark II, but for the uh, sake of differentiating during this video, I will refer to the new one as the Mark II, but it is not a Mark II. It's just an updated one. So uh, let's just make that clear. Back to the video. Basically everything that you'd normally get with a lens is included. You've got the uh, little microfiber-ish lens pouch the lens itself, hopefully, and uh, a lens hood. It is a uh, 72 mil thread size, so exactly the same as the original 10 to 24. And the Mark II, unlike the Mark I, is made in the Philippines. The Mark I is made in Japan, and here it is. So a couple things that we're noticing right away is uh, the aperture dial is marked now, as opposed to on the Mark I. So with the Mark I, it would rotate into infinity forever. But now here on the Mark II, we have it marked from four all the way to 22. And then you'll notice we have a hard stop at 22, which is nice because they've added this new lock that when you press that and go to A mode, it's stuck on A mode now. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to, to accidentally bump it, which is something that I found pretty frustrating with the Mark I. Not frustrating, just something that definitely happened more than once where you're rotating this and you you clip you clip the switches, they're not that, there's not that much resistance. So what happens is you'll be rotating and you might bump your OIS off or on, and you might accidentally switch to automatic as well. So that's not gonna happen with this Mark II as there's no OIS switch or a automatic switch. So nice, nice improvement there. One of the other improvements over the Mark I or features, I should say, not improvements, is that it's now weather resistant. So we've got we've got that nice gasket right there. The thing with uh, with weather resistance is it's not only about water. It's it's about humidity. It's about dust, and basically allowing your equipment to be in any environment that you would potentially be in yourself. WR is definitely a welcomed upgrade, and there's a little bit of of. Of difference in the shape. The zoom ring is a little bit thicker on the Mark I, and you can see here that it actually protrudes outwards, whereas this is a little bit more straight. Some quick tech specs about the Mark II. The optics inside these two lenses are the exact same, so there's been no changes there. As I said before, the key differences are gonna be the weather resistance and the dials. They've improved the OIS in the Mark II by one stop. What that really means is in the X-T4, you're gonna be seeing 6.5 stops of stabilization. In the X-H1, you're gonna see 5.5 stops. 
and in the non-IBIS, you're gonna see 3.5 stops. So any cameras that don't have IBIS, that is not an X-T4 or an X-H1. Weight-wise, the Mark II is about 20 grams lighter than the Mark I, which is about the equivalent weight of the rear cap and the body cap together. We don't have an exact number yet for the price, but it should be in the ballpark of $1349 Canadian and about a thousand US. Uh, you'll see the links below in the description that will have the official prices for your region. There won't be a firmware update for this lens to use on your body as it's the optics are exactly the same, so there should not be any any changes there at all. I am gonna be using this lens on my channel, Chris Meets Chris, kind of giving it more of a, a real life stress, stress test if you wanna see. I often use the 10 to 24 Mark I and the 16 to 55 to shoot all my videos. So I'll be shooting with this one tomorrow and for the next few days while, while Taki is still on vacation. So if you wanna see real life videos, head over to my page or just wait for Taki to do his official analysis. Let us know below what you think and uh, if you plan on picking one up. Uh, the 10 to 24 is definitely one of my go-to lenses for the Fuji system, and uh, I can't wait to just kind of get out on the street and see what it performs like in real life, and I'm sure Take can't as well. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and uh, yeah, who knows, maybe you'll see more of me in the future. And uh, if you don't want to see more, then just keep that to yourself. In the words of Take, happy shooting. Click, click, click. Always wanted to do that. Peace.